Hey, welcome back to the outfit. We're in Middle Lagoon in the Dampier Peninsula near Broome. What is spot? This is so good. So this is like a, a kind of a secret day use area, I guess. We're <laughs> camped kind of a bit over here, but it's packed. So we've come here for the day. That's way more our style. <laughs> way more our style and it's beautiful. We've got pandanus trees, we've got whales doing flips in the background. Beautiful cove, the water, the clarity looks oh. pretty nice. Not too sure where it's like actually on the water, but you'll find I'm gonna too. go sparing. <laughs> First sparing mission since we left Queensland. Gosh. All right, let's not lose any digits. <laughs> we're gonna go out there and we're gonna get some mega fish. All right, so stay tuned. This episode's gonna be wild. Oh, so pumped. The vlog can wait, there are fish to shoot. <laughs> Look at the color clarity. This is insane. So good. I haven't been this excited, Anne, since you gave birth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> look, at, look at my gear. Very dusty. At least you go for a good wash. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Proper Kimberly dust. Yeah. What a day for it. Wow! This is where I always pays off to explore. Oh yeah. It's cool we've got these pandanus trees coming straight down to the water. Oh. Wow. I yeah. can't believe it. Can you believe it, Ox? No, we need a tusk fish or some big pelagics or a coral trout or an emperor. <laughs> Hell, I'll take a mawong at this rate. <laughs> I'll take any. Give us some fresh fish. I'll take a mother-in-law. No, thank you. All right. Time to get out there. Wish me luck. So I'm going to have the camera just on the end of my spear gun. Last time when I had it on my mask, I just couldn't tell when I was pressing the GoPro. I couldn't hear the beeps. So I ended up missing shots. So at least I can see it. We'll try and get some shots of some fish or whatever. We might even be able to hear some whales. Oh, all right. So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing some rock jutting out. So I'm going to check that out. I can see more rock in the background out here. I'm going to head towards there. If that's not proving good, I'll head down this way. All I'm after is structure. We'll see if we can get some fish congregating or even better if I can just find like a big bommy with some holes and crevices in it, we might be able to start getting some reef fish. All right, wish me luck guys. It's been so long. I had such a terrible time in Queensland. All right, let's bring back those WA spearfishing vibes.
Oakley's having a little nap in the camper. So I'm just having a little walk around, not too far from the truck. Going on a little Chrissy Boy spotting mission, which actually can't see him anymore. I flew the drone just earlier just to kind of like scout the coast to see potentially for crocs because yes, we are still in croc country. They could be crocs, but not only we've asked some locals in Broome that told us that this spot was actually super safe for sparing. The caretakers here told us they haven't spotted a croc for years. So yeah, they could be one one day, but there will be like a very small, small chance. So that's why Chris decided to go. But yeah, I'm um, I'm keeping an eye out. But I can't believe how stunning this spot is. Beautiful, the water clarity are definitely... Ah, oh, actually I can spot Chris now. <laughs> the water clarity is beautiful. I can't wait to get for a swim as well. Yeah, oh! <laughs> How can I help? This one? Uh, it's got how tiring shore diving is. <laughs> little tusky. And a little stripy sea perch. Hey, look at you go! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> so, how was it? Oh, it's nice out there. Yeah, it's nice. Bit of a ferocious current going that way. But, yeah, nice ground. Really nice ground. Oh man, I'm so stoked. It's not the biggest tusky ever, but it's, it's, a it's tusky. dinner tonight. Oh yeah. Oh man, I need some calories. <laughs> How beautiful is this fish? So it's filleting time. So this, if you're unfamiliar with the fish, is a blue bone, also known as a black spot tusk fish for the black spot right there. Blue bone because they do have slightly like almost translucent bluish bones which is pretty neat. Amazing fish. So this is an absolute prize eating fish which is so cool that I've got one. Even though it's quite small it's definitely in size and it'll be big enough for Angie and I for dinner for sure. So we didn't need a huge one. I mean obviously a big one would be great but this is brilliant. So really happy with that. And then I'll fill it up that little stripey as well which is just on size. So I'm a bit lucky there. Uh, and that's a really good tasting fish as well. So I'll just add that to the fillets. Now I haven't filleted a fish in forever. So I'll give it a crack. I've got a new knife. Let's give it a go. All right. Who would have thought that buying a really nice knife would help? So this is a Victorinox Swibbo. And man, that's the first time I've used it. It's beautiful. All right, nice fillet there. Bit of sand on it, so I'm just gonna wash it and then chuck it in the back. So there's that beautiful blue bone skin right there. Really big, tough scales. It's a real brute of a fish. And they're just hard for me to get because I don't have a very good breath hold. I'm often just swimming around off the shore and they see me well before I even see them. Wasn't the best shot. I definitely hit it in the wrong spot, but it was good enough. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of reef sharks, about six of them. I threw the frame in and boom, they smashed it. I don't even know where they came from. Wow, that's so cool. I haven't had that happen before. You're welcome, Sharky Sharks. Free meal for you. Very cool. All right, so those fish are all filling it up. I'm gonna head back and chuck those in the fridge. Have a go at our spot. <laughs> a private little cool. This is mega. Look at this place. Dun dun dun. 
Look at that arm. Yay. Tired boy. Someone's prepared this cool cabana for us. Wow, thank you. Wow. Oh, so cool. Just went for a little swim, oh my god, that feels so good. I can't even express how good it feels. It feels like it's been such a long time that we have been in the ocean now. It has been a long time, <laughs> I think that's why. This guy's stoked, he's like looking up at the stripes, just having a ball. We haven't even put him in the water yet, he's got his little feet in the sand. You like the sand on your feet? <laughs> Just got the drone over the whales. Didn't spend too long out there because they dive under and then I lose them, but man, it's such a neat spot. I'll go for a swim too with this little guy soon. Ooh. Yeah. Look at the caves. How cool is this place? <laughs> we to explore. Wow. Let's show you the view from the beach. And as we said, there's no one. Incredible. And it's always like that with crates is we don't know what to expect. And we're gonna probably extend our stay here because we love it so much. And it's nice to go back to places we've been before. So we've been to the Dante Peninsula three years ago, but we didn't check out Middle Lagoon. So it's nice to find new spots that we particularly enjoy because this is definitely one of the best spots in the Kimberley that we've seen so far. The first ocean deep. Yay. Whoa! It's a little bit scary. It's normal to be a bit overwhelmed. Okay, a bit of water. Dirt has got you. Wow! Yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so who would have known dunking a baby's feet in the ocean is not the thing to do? <laughs> Oakley's not very happy with either of us, is he? He's okay. First time. I mean, I can understand that it. it's quite overwhelming, so I don't blame him. Yeah. It's okay, hopefully get used to it, because we are going down the coast, so lots of swims to come. First time in the ocean for Oakley, definitely <laughs> didn't like it, so it's a bit tricky. We know it, it was fine, I think it was mostly the temperature of the ocean, but he would love to expose him more to the water so that he can eventually swim like kind of like an early age. So if any parent watching has like any tips of what we can do 
to be able to have like a little um, ocean baby that we call them, yeah, ocean, ocean baby. baby. Um, that would be great because both Chris and I, we're not good swimmers. I mean, Chris and I is a much better swimmer than me with Still the not real fishing. Good, but... So yeah, we'd love that Oakley at least get um, yeah better swimming skills than us. And now it's almost sunset time. We decided to have an early dinner. Early dinner. Chris is making the fish. So well, what do we have tonight? Really happy with how the fish turned out, actually. Nice filleting job. Thank you very much. That new knife really helped. So I've chucked on this Tendaco seasoning mix, which tastes really good. We've only had it a couple of times in Queensland. It was it was really nice. That was a hot tip from a mate. So um, I've just put that in there, chucked it all around, and then I'm just going to put that in some oil, fry those up. We've got some coconut and chili rice, and we've got some fresh green beans, and the lemon, pretty basic stuff. I'll fry that all up. Cold ginger beer, blue bone, happy baby, happy fiance, beautiful spot. This is epic. So stoked, very grateful to be here. This is so nice. So, just gonna eat up, watch the sunset, and then we'll head back to camp. Good morning. We're back. We're back in the exact same spot because it is so darn good. Look at this place. So there's even less wind than yesterday morning. So I'm gonna jump in for a dive very soon. We'll see if we can catch dinner again. Still buzzing about yesterday's first WA dive. What? <laughs> seeing, seeing some uh, whales, but they're not coming too close yet. Wish so you luck. Let's get it done. So Chris is going for dive number two. Unfortunately this morning it was unsuccessful. Chris is diving just in front of me and in the distance there are some whales. They keep going like back and forth in the peninsula. It's just insane. And apparently Chris can hear them on the water. Gosh, they look like they're in the time of their life. It's so cool to see. I went as well for the morning swim. There was a blowhole in the distance in one of the caves and that was like splashing with the high tide. That was really cool. It's an insane spot, like I'm, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to stay again tomorrow because I'm not too sure if you're going to be able to find a spot like this with no one else around anytime soon. The BU Echo Sign is going to be super busy, so yeah, definitely going to make the most of this spot because it is incredible.
All right. Bigger blue bone than yesterday. So, I don't actually have one of those paper measurements anymore for WA, so I need to get one of those. So, it is 50, 54 centimeters. Oh. Minimum size is 40 centimeters, so she's 54 centimeters. That's probably going to be two dinners for us, which is awesome. So this guy was hanging out into a ledge. I saw him. Uh, he shot away. That was when I was actually kind of just snorkeling around the place at a rock out here. So then I decided to go in for a dive, but silly of me, didn't press record on the GoPro. It's so annoying because when I see a fish, I need to remember to press record. And by that stage, it's often too late. So it can be a real tricky one. So anyway, unfortunately, I didn't get it on record, but... Got the old fish, got a really good holding shot on him. It didn't fight at all and it was right in a cave. So pulling it out really gently, I managed to get it without snagging it all up and tearing the fish apart. And then swam it back to shore. Must have been maybe a good four or 500 meters offshore. So for me, not too bad because I try not to go out too far when I'm unsupported. So I'm gonna fill it up, skin it again, and then we'll decide how we're gonna have it. But we'll definitely have some fish tonight. To the end again of another beautiful day. I've got the crew watching. She's watching you cook. Tonight it's me who's on dinner duty. Please catch the fish and I cook. Been a bit of a slow day today. We haven't really done much at all. Played with Oakley on the little mat for a while. We fed him some icicles, which was cool. And we gave him a bath. And now, yeah, just, just chilling He's out happy today. happy as Larry. Yeah, yeah, just chilling out. So tonight we're having blue bone, is it? Blue bone. Blue bone yeah. We're having blue bone crumbed. I'm making a little mango salsa and I'm gonna mash on potato with some garlic and olive oil. It's tricky because we never know in advance you're gonna catch fish. So we kind of like went last minute to grab some ingredients. But one recipe that I really want to do next time we get fish that I don't have exactly everything for is a ceviche. So if you've got any recipe for ceviche, like your favorite one, the way to make it, because I guess it's like some variation, let me know in a comment because that's one of my favorite fish dish. So yeah, looking forward. I don't think it would work with blue bone very well though. I think yeah, I'm not too sure as well which fish it. it would work with. So yeah, Probably quite novice at that. Mackie or um, Trevally or something like that, or Queenie maybe. All right, so you need to get one now. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, and dinner is served. Here you go, sir. Thank you very much. Sorry, Oaks, not for you yet. Same. Very thin. You get some fish. Would you like to try some fish one day? Yeah? <laughs> not too sure. Not too sure. All right. Bon appétit. Mm.